I'm here today with Andreas Agvar, who is a software developer at Sony Ericsson. And Andreas, you've been uh, working with the X10 Mini and you created some uh, UI tutorials. Uh, what have you been doing and what are you going to show us today? Uh, well, my uh, main responsibility in the X10 Mini project has been the album application. And in the album application, I've been uh, a part of a team that developed the Zoom. So what I'm going to talk about uh, is uh, the Zoom we have developed and uh, how it works and how you can make your own. So basically any Android developer can uh, now implement the cool Zoom that you've been doing after seeing this tutorial. Yeah, exactly. And they can make it work for uh, any application really in the, in the end. Cool. So let's take a look. Uh, okay, so uh, we're going to take a look at the Zoom we made for the X10 Mini. And here it is. You simply long press to start zooming and then you can pan around in the image. And all the code for this everything will be available at the Sony Ericsson developer blog. And it will be a multi-part tutorial. So in the first part we will uh, make a very simple control. We can zoom in and we can pan, but it's, it's very basic. In the part two we'll uh, add some functionality for controlling the logic uh, or logic for the control. So here you can zoom into a specific place by pressing at the place you want to zoom in and then dragging. And the panning will have limits. You cannot pan outside the image. How, how is this uh, affected on different screen sizes? Well, uh, on different screen sizes, for example, you may want different input methods. Uh, and uh, the third part of the tutorial will talk about uh, a new way of inputting or controlling the zoom. In this case, we will, we will use the same long touch paradigm as we use in the X10 Mini. But we'll also talk, talk about how it can be done on different screen sizes. So maybe you want another way of controlling it on another device. Finally, part four, we'll uh, talk about dynamics, uh, how to make it, how to enhance the experience and also the usability, really. It adds so very much when you can have a dynamic control. And now we have something that is very similar to the actual Zoom in X10 Mini. Right. And also we'll talk some about how you can actually use this for your own application, not only when zooming in a bitmap, but why not a game? Why not something else? Okay. So thank you, Andreas, for, for doing this tutorial. I think you've done a really great job. And uh, go to the Sony Ericsson Developer blog, read the tutorial, download a sample code, and get going with your own uh, Sumi.